and welcome back to our program. You know, one in every 10 people around the world lacks access to uh, safe water. Now, to fight this crisis, Nick Jordan founded the nonprofit Wells of Life, which aims to provide uh, water across Uganda. Now, thanks to a donor from Orange County Catholic Foundation, one well has another benefit, inspiring the community by honoring the memory of Kobe and Gianna Bryant. Here's our Chris Harry now, who has more in this week's edition of Hometown Hero. Hometown Hero, sponsored by Rotolo Chevrolet. Nick, let's start at the beginning. Um, how did you found Wells of Life? What prompted you to create this? Well, it was an invitation to go and visit Uganda, a country I had no idea about. Uh, in 2008, I took off and uh, got to spend two and a half weeks in the country. And I guess the shortest version I can give you is that I got a front row seat to poverty. Mm. I'd seen it in pictures and I'd seen it in books, but I had never seen it up close and personal. I actually saw poverty through the eyes of little children. And I saw it through the eyes of mothers. And it had a profound effect on me. Wells of Life will have served one million people in need of clean water by the end of this year. Of the over 940 wells currently built and maintained, there's one in particular that has brought a renewed spirit to a community who's been without clean water for 60 years. That would be well number 524, which was donated on behalf of the Orange Catholic Foundation in memory of Kobe and Gianna Bryant. Because we do this work every day, I automatically knew that we needed to find a school that did not have water. Now, it's almost impossible to think of school and no water, but that is indeed a case and the truth. So we found a school, St. Bethany's, and a school that was founded in 1962 that had never had clean water. And I knew immediately that this was where the Kobe and Gianna Bryant Memorial Well would find its resting place. Nick, we're coming up on two years um, since this well broke ground, correct? Correct. What are the numbers? There's two. 0.9 million gallons of water after being provided from Kobe and Gianna's well that provides it every single day of the year and will continue to do so for decades to come. As far as lives saved, a little more complicated, except to tell you that there are so many happy young children that no longer are sick and ill and don't have to be part of the statistic that a child dies every 21 seconds when there's no water available. The clean water aspect of this is the, is the lead here. But I, I have to believe the energy and the enthusiasm to have that well named after Kobe and Gianna in this community means so much. This little girl on the left, her name is Isabel. And you know, in every story, there's a, um, a little heroine. And she's our heroine because she was about six years old at the time. Now she danced and she just delighted everybody. And she represents all the children in that community that are blessed to receive water. And you know, our, our older representative, you know, represents the girls that are 12, 13, and 14. They're just starting out on their life journey. She represents hope. And to me and to everybody within our organization, that's what Kobe Bryant represented to us. Hope of a brighter future, more determination to push through your obstacles. Obviously, I'm an immigrant who came to this country 35 years ago with $1,200, and it's blessed me beyond belief. And it's an honor to be able to be part of an organization that honors this incredible humanitarian and his beautiful daughter in the most, I believe, impactful way that you can honor any life.